Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another Truck and Stuff Thursday. And this Thursday, we're just going to show one side of this jammer I have and check out what I keep in it. So, we'll just start up top with an Al Camino. And I definitely like this Al Camino casting. A lot better than the next one I'm going to show. Well, the next one's the same casting. Just in silver or gray with uh, pink flames. And it looks fucking awesome. I really like it. It's not a color variation for that one. But... Really awesome variation. only have these two of the this particular casting of it which I love this release this green release looks pretty damn cool too then we have this Al Camino which I don't really care much for because they put the motor in the back they kind of ruined it by putting the motor in the back But besides that, it ain't a bad casting, and it's nothing I'll go after them all, but I, I like this variation of it. Pretty cool motor if you do customs, man. That motor might be worth scarfing out of here. And put in something else, because there's pretty good detail on it. I wonder how hard it'd be to cut it off the base. have a green variation of it which I really like the green color of this kind of matches my hand yeah. spray painting a custom then we have a 68 Chevy Al Camino in purple which I really like this variation too And then we got a 1970 Chevy Al Camino. And this is from Matchbox. And it has something on it. A little dirty, but besides that, it's in really good shape. I think I got it loose at a flea market, so I'm happy with the condition of it. We have this really cool Chevy square body. And no, this ain't the Hot Wheels one, but Hot Wheels did release this paint variation. This is a made in China off-brand rusty axles this is old really lightweight plastic base I mean it's really really cheap extremely cheaply made but I found it at a flea market and uh, I've seen it before but it's always beat to hell and uh, this one was like new condition so picked it up I like the color of this one. This is the newer Hot Wheels. I think it just came out this year. Pretty cool. I don't have any other variation, so I think this might be the only color variation so far. And the BF Good Wrench. Really cool. I got two variations of this. Uh, Chevy K1500 pickup. This is a matchbox. I'm not sure what year, but pretty sure it's an older matchbox. But I collect all Chevys, and it's pretty damn cool, so I like it. And then I also have it in 
green for Matchbox. Off-road Chevy. BF Goodwrench. 1500 on the side. Pretty awesome. If I find these at a flea market or something, I'll pick them up every time. I'm sure they released it a bunch. And this one, which I have a little rant over. I, this is a casting I do collect. I'm trying to complete from Hot Wheels. Love this satin green. Pretty sure this was a multi-pack exclusive. I found at a flea market. I don't think it sells for crazy money or nothing. But not like the C10 one. I got this purple variation. This one came out a few years ago. One of my favorite variations of this. Gonna be in this burn orange with white flames. Think it looks freaking awesome. I don't know if this was a Z-Mac or a Red Edition or just a normal release, but it looks like a Z-Mac, and it has a red windshield. Mike Speed Shop. Really awesome release of it. Definitely love it. We got this green release of it. There's some red line tires. Love this color green of it. And I have it in orange. And if you're wondering what casting this is, Custom 69 Chevy. Really fucking awesome. Love it. And we have it in purple. Which looks awesome because I love when Hot Wheels does this purple. And then we have my rant about it. Because they redid it this year. Even released in a super. Hoping people couldn't tell. But they made it one hell of a lot smaller. Really ticks me off how much smaller they made it. You can really see it in the jammer. You can really see how much smaller it is side by side. It's skinnier. It's shorter. It's a completely different scale. The other one's probably pretty close to 164th. This one's way underscaled. So, I'm not going to collect it anymore. I'm sure they did it for the money savings. I'm sure they saved a lot of money by making it smaller. I'm sure they get a whole extra truck out of the metal every fourth or fifth casting now. So, good for them. It just doesn't look right displayed next to the other ones now. It's way too small. Hopefully they correct it, but I doubt they will. I mean, this is so lightweight. If this is a route Hot Wheels is going, and they're going to make something this lightweight and this small, then I'm not going to collect it anymore. So, I collect 164th scale, and this is clearly, clearly not 164th. So a little rant. It drives me nuts if I can't do a custom of it or something. At least the dots in 510, even though it's a little large for 164th, they still make awesome customs. Next we got a matchbox. I got two releases of it. This blue release, which is really freaking awesome. 
I didn't like it at first with this thing, especially when Lamely showed this before it even came out for sale. I really didn't like it, but uh, it grew on me. Uh, I think it's based on a real paint scheme. Pretty sure it is. We got this, which is really awesome, in a factory deco. Looks really good in a factory paint scheme. And we got next is a 2016 Chevy Colorado. Which looks pretty awesome. Got it in silver. And these are matchbox. Awesome front end detail. And really awesome rear detail when it gets around to it. Then we have it in orange. Oh, that's all I got to show you for this truck and stuff Thursday. Please make sure to like, subscribe. Especially if you like seeing other 164th diecast vehicles. And have an awesome day.